Hi, this is Rick from 1124 Holdings here to give a video overview of another one of our beautiful properties in Edwards, Missouri. You're in for a treat because uh, today I'm actually going to be re reviewing uh, two properties that are just so close together. They're literally right across the street from each other that I'm going to combine them into a single video. So um, one property is 6.174 acres. The other one is 5.8. 544 four acres right across the street from each other um, we'll do it a lot of the information will be the same so uh, here we go in case you are not aware of where Edwards Missouri is this is a satellite image of Missouri uh, over here on the right hand side is st. Louis left on the west side is uh, Kansas City in the middle is Columbia cross going straight across is uh, Highway 70. So here in the middle, Truman Lake, Bagnell Dam, this is the Ozarks area, Lake of the Ozarks, and Edwards, Missouri is right about here where you see my little hand waving just below the M. Down south is Springfield. Uh, to get there from Springfield, it's about a 90-minute drive straight up Highway 65 into Warsaw. From Kansas City, you can go 70 over and then down Highway 65 through Sedalia into Warsaw and then in there. Or you can, um, if you're down on Overland Park or um, Lee Summit, Grandview, you can cut down through Highway uh, 49, which will bring you down into Route 7 and then in. From seven uh, from St. Louis, you're going to come Highway 70 straight across to Highway 65 and down. So now that you've seen that, you know, Lake of the Ozarks, Lake of the Ozarks really goes from... Here's where a lot of people think Lake of the Ozarks is, but it actually travels all the way out. This is this is mile marker 77 and then into Truman Lake. So all of this is the Ozark region and down south. But Bagnell Dam is over here. They can all You can travel all this way via boat. So if you were coming in Highway 65, you're, you're either going to be coming from the north or the south. You will travel into the little town of Warsaw where you'll find you know Walmart, lots of restaurants. Um, home supply stores, etc., and then from there, down 7, 65, cut across Highway 7 here, and then this is Highway M that cuts up into Forbes Lake of the Ozarks Park. So Forbes Lake of the Ozarks Park is about 12,800 acres of property. It butts up against the Lake of the Ozarks here. It's all of this region in through here. It's all this region in through here. Um, inside of Forbes Lake of the Ozarks, um, you have a couple of private lakes, and then you also have um, boat launches that are exclusive use of the property owner. So we've got a couple of them. I'll just light them up. So here is a boat launch in Turkey Creek Cove. You can get from these properties over there in five or ten minutes. We've got this boat launch here. This is on the Deer Creek Arm. Again, you can get there in about five minutes from this property. And there's one over here on the far side. There's a little uh, pond here called Turtle Pond, but it's the boat launch by Turtle Pond. Um, and if you had a property over on this side, it would be easy to get into that. So there's where those locations are. I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. And you see that there are a couple of private lakes. The two main ones, at least in this area, are... Bob's Lake here. It's about a 28-acre lake. And then you have Welsh Lake, which is a 20 or 23-acre lake, exclusive use of the property owner. So the reason why, again, I wanted to point out that these two properties are being done together. And if you wanted to, you can easily get up to Lake of the Ozarks onto the main channel, right? So this is where it would only be a 10-minute drive. But these two properties are so close together, they're literally right across the street from each other. Um, I've got them uh, highlighted here. <clears throat> so there's one property. This is the 6.1 acre property. And then this one below is the 5.5 acre property. And for anyone that may have been watching some of the other videos that just happened also, um, have this property. So this property right here is a 3.1 acre property, single lot. This is a double lot. This is also a double lot. So these properties are all here together. Welsh Lake. But I wanted to give a video overview. Um, 
of these two properties and give you an idea of what they look like. Zoom in a little bit and give you some view of the area. There's some interesting look at the 5.5 uh, acre property first. So it's interesting in that um, it's got a little bit of a cleared off area here on the side. Slopes down, not a dramatic slope. Um, certainly easy to be easy to uh, camp on this property or to even build on this property because you've got this area here that is um, it's already cleared off. It wouldn't take much to do it. And I wanted to show an elevation profile on this one. If we look at that, so what that will show you there is that from the road, it's a minor, it only slopes down six or eight feet, and then there's a pretty nice flat spot here um, that you could build or camp, right? It's pretty nice. And then again from this property, there's, there's actually a, um, a creek that runs through the back of this property right about here where my hand uh, on the screen goes. It runs and then that actually empties into the lake. So here along the back of the property is is an uh, interesting creek feature. Nice shot. These properties, some of the properties in Forbes allow for recreational camping, um, some do not. So just be aware if uh, you only intend to build or if you want to buy uh, for purpose of investment. Um, some properties do not allow recreational camping. You can only build on them. These two properties uh, are in Unit B2, which uh, does permit recreational camping. So if you choose to do that, you could from uh, Warsaw. It's only about 25 minutes to get here. This other property, this is the 6.1 acre property. This is lot uh, 2846 and for 2846 and 2847 um, is an interesting property um, to where see it actually slopes up from the road. Oops. sure what happened there sorry about that but someone um, the previous owner um, had started to clear the property out uh, this looks like there's a lot of debris on here there's not actually this much debris some of the stuff is gone but interestingly it looks like um, they had started to clear out some of the brush it almost looks to me like they were going to have like a, a wacky warriors or a paintball uh, type place because there's strategically placed tires and barrels to where it looks like you could hide behind them and they've cleared this out with you see this is uh, piles of brush that are laying out there it almost looks like an obstacle course interesting piece of property um, interesting rock features as you're going up here and I've got some uh, pictures that I'll share uh, on our website to do that the uh, road going in there is already cut out um, and from this perspective uh, it's not you could come up this side of the property and and you'd have a beautiful view up here on top uh, or the other thing that you may consider doing is <clears throat> depending on where you wanted to place uh, your ha house or your campsite if you came up this side here and I wanted to bring oops not that one this one if you came in on this side of the property this is pretty flat over here and again I'll show you an elevation profile from here right it's going to come up 15 feet or so from the road and then look at all this flat spot, pretty flat, nice location to uh, to build. Um, similarly, from the other side, right? If we were to look at uh, this particular elevation profile,
so the road, um, the driveway or whatever, I suppose, is, is cut in here. Right, and then we get up to the campsite location, and this is this area, and I've got uh, pictures that we'll show you from our website. And then there's a peak, and then it trails off to the backside. So interesting piece of property. Um, it's got some nice rock features on it. Beautiful location, uh, just walking distance, walking distance over to Welsh Lake. This is only about uh, a five-minute walk. If you were to go down this way, and you could be fishing down here, and again, there's a, a pretty good view of the creek sort of coming in through this, through this area right here, and it empties out here. So beautiful piece of property. Thanks for watching. Um, more details are in the description. Taxes are low on these pieces on these properties, only about uh, seventy-five dollars a year. Uh, no time limit to build. As I said, uh, recreational camping is permitted. So uh, if you wanted to utilize that for weekend getaways or something like that, uh, fishing, you could do that. Don't forget subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. You can check out our website 1124holdings.com or sub subscribe to our VIP list, our VIP email list for early notifications of properties that we get them. Thanks for watching.